ओके लुक एट दिस क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी वन फ्रॉम चैप्टर नंबर थर्टी फाइव ऑफ एस सी वर्मा वायर ऑफ लेंथ एल इज बेंट इन द फॉर्म ऑफ एन इक्विटल ट्राइंगल एंड कैरीज एन इलेक्ट्रिक करंट आई फाइन द मैग्नेटिक फील्ड बी एट द सेंटर If the wire is bent in the form of a square, what would be the value of B at the center? So we have wire of length L. First, it is bent in the form of an equilateral triangle. Total length is L. So each side will be having a length L by three. Each side will have a length L by three. Okay. Now, let's drop a perpendicular. Let's drop a perpendicular from the vertex. Okay. Since this is equilateral triangle, the whole angle is sixty degree. So this angle will be half of sixty. That is thirty degrees. Okay. Now look at this triangle. This is ninety degrees. All right. So hypotenuse is L by three. So this perpendicular will be L by three cos thirty. Perpendicular will be L by three cos thirty. Okay. And this is the centroid of the triangle. So the centroid divides the uh, uh, perpendicular over here in the ratio one is to two. This length will be in the ratio one. This will be in the ratio two. So this height will be how much h? So h will be equal to one third of l by three cos thirty. So this will be equal to cos thirty is root three by two. So l root three by 18 okay now again let's join the line from centroid to the end okay so this is 30 this is also 30 degrees okay and if i drop a perpendicular over here right this will be 60 degrees correct now because of this wire Because of this wire, magnetic field over here will be same as magnetic field because of this wire and magnetic field because of this wire. So if I can find the field due to one side, I can multiply it by three to find the net magnetic field. Now here I will use the formula that if I have a wire of length, uh, let's not take the length. I have a wire having a current I. I want to find the magnetic field at this point. Okay. This point is. r distance away from the wire the distance of the point from the wire is r okay this is 90 this is theta 1 this is theta 2 so the magnetic field b at this point will be given by mu not i by 2 pi r sin theta 1 plus sin theta 2 sorry this will be 4 mu not i by 4 pi r sin theta 1 plus sin theta 2 we will be using this formula So, because of this line segment, the field at this point will be how much? Mu not i by two four uh, pi times h. This distance is how much? H. Sine sixty plus sine sixty. So now we solve the first case. So b will be how much? Three times. Mu not i by four pi h. Sine sixty degree plus sine sixty degrees. Okay. Three times because there are three wires, okay, and four pi times h, h is equal to l root third, l root three by eighteen. So let's put these values. So three mu not i by four pi, l root three by eighteen. Sine sixty is root three by two. So here we get again root three. So this will get cancelled out. So I will get magnetic field be equal to. 27 mu not i by 2 pi l. This is the field at the center of equilateral triangle. Now we have to solve for the square for part b. So for the case of a square, each side is having a length l by 4. So the perpendicular distance over here from the side will be how much l by 8. This is l by 4. This is half of l by 4, so l by 8. This is L by eight, and this angle over here will be forty-five degree. The other angle will be also forty-five degree. Okay. So again, now I use the formula mu not i by four pi r sine theta one plus sine theta two. Okay. So for part B, magnetic field will be mu not i by four pi. Distance is L by eight. Correct. This distance is L by eight. Into 
sin 45 degree plus sin 45 degree so you get mu naught i by pi l 2 into root 2 so basically 2 root 2 mu naught i by pi l this is the magnetic field b at the center of a square of perimeter l sorry just one mistake this is the field due to one segment okay this is the field due to one segment i have to multiply by 4 okay i have to multiply by 4 over everywhere okay so what i get 8 root 2 mu naught i by pi l this is the net magnetic field b at the center of a square okay